Hello folks, uh, this is another tutorial about rendering and this time we uh, have a look back at the SIGGRAPH 2017 event by Pixar. Max Liani, a very very nice man, was talking about uh, the new generation of RenderMan. RenderMan is a uh, available as a plugin for uh, Maya and uh, he showed it with Maya and the amazing thing here he showed was sort of real-time rendering. You see how the scene updates in the viewport. You see the lights there and it's everything in real-time and keep in mind that's the modeling view so that's the viewport you're usually working with you see all the shadows all the occlusion and uh, the ambience and when you change the light everything uh, lights accordingly uh, so uh, I give you the link to this tutorial it was really amazing uh, like an eye-opener we go into the next generation uh, and now let's have a look at Maya under Arnold you can check the version you have with this question question mark about and the current version, and we're in August 2018, is Maya to Arnold 3.1.0. And the Arnold Core is 5.2.00. So if you have that, you will find under Renderer, Arnold. I hadn't seen that before. So let's create a new scene with a large disk and give that disk a shader, right mouse click, new material, Arnold, standard surface shader, and we choose one of the presets here, clay for example. So that's the clay we have. Uh, and now we need a sphere. We move it a little bit up. And we create a cube. And we go to mesh not in order to do a new mesh tutorial that did loads of them already but uh, I uh, just because I want to have more geometry it's sitting right here and I um, now I render the whole scene uh, not with Arnold render which wouldn't make sense anyway because we don't have lights now but with render Arnold and uh, this pop-up window basically asks me what you want to render the beauty like always I could render all, uh, all other kinds of channels as well like alpha channel for example uh, and I press this uh, red arrow here so I go so the scene darkens because there's no light in the scene now I introduce a light and this is an area light and I move it back it's so dim because I need to unnormalize it so to say I make it larger and now you see the light coming in here and keep in mind this is the viewport and it's rendering with a four kernel machine which is not very sophisticated these days quite nicely let's raise the intensity from one to two well that's really nice don't you think so we're getting closer to that sphere it's rendering basically the same quality as um, the the real rendering here the I mean what is real rendering these days this one um, and it does a very nice job uh, let's create a more sophisticated shader for this new material Arnold standard surface you see it's turning white now very glossy already and as a preset we now use gold replace this by gold and now you see the gold working here now let's select the mash and change the distribution to check whether it actually updates so mash distribute here if this goes too fast just check out one of the mash tutorials I did in the past um, so we make a instead of a linear distribution we make a grid distribution here uh, and instantly we see in the in the viewport here with this little window which enables that using the Arnold renderer right here uh, we see the the boxes here update so we can select them right here if we wanted to um, and uh, and change the geometry here so let's uh, create a few more boxes um, that's maybe too many we need more distance then and we'll move a little bit away from it 
and this is all done more or less it's not really real time but it's kind of real time and uh, it's the first time I'm ever ever I'm using uh, a renderer which works directly in the viewport and gives me an instant access to the light setting. Let's create uh, an, a Maya light. Create light, point light and I move the light into the center of my blocks here and uh, under Arnold I raise the intensity or the exposure in this case uh, to 2 so it gets a little bit more bright it's down there let's raise the uh, exposure even further like this so it's I don't know where it is but it has its influence right here now I move it to the back here it is and uh, this is all done in the viewport so I'm really amazed what it doesn't support yet but maybe with the next version of Maya this will happen is when you uh, select the mesh node and apply color add a color node uh, and you change it to a blue for example it doesn't have an effect here so even if you randomize the settings here a little bit which uh, usually uh, work nicely in the Maya viewport you see them there um, actually we could switch back you see them right here what a poor view here in respect in comparison to that one uh, but uh, it doesn't respect the color so uh, you have to find a workaround and uh, if you want to change the colors of the blocks you need to select the invisible original cube here and with the original cube you can go to uh, the shader and maybe change that shader to blue then it turns blue so that's not the mesh distribution here at all well having said this I wish you very much fun with the latest Arnold update and uh, this is really really amazing it's a big step it cannot be stressed more um, and uh, it's uh, it's really nice for everybody who is interesting in uh, interested in lighting scenes. Have a nice day. Bye bye.